Have you ever faced a frustrating error while coding, especially when you're trying to implement something cool like a modal component? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the no provider for NGB modal error in the NG Bootstrap library for Angular. I totally get it. You're excited to use the NG Bootstrap library, but then you hit a wall with that pesky error message. You're not alone in this. Many developers have encountered this issue when starting out with Angular and NG Bootstrap. Let's look at the specific situation. One user reached out saying they were trying to implement a modal component from the NG Bootstrap documentation, but received the error, no provider for NGB modal. They were unsure how to set up their Angular project correctly. Sound familiar? Let's work through this together. So what's going on here? The no provider for NGB modal error usually means that Angular doesn't know how to create an instance of NGB modal because it hasn't been properly imported into your module. Let's break this down step by step and stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this error in the future. To resolve the no provider for NGB modal error, the user should first ensure that the NGB module is correctly imported in the app.module.ts file. Next, the user needs to verify that the NGBD modal component and NGBD modal content are declared properly in the declarations array of the NG module. The user should also ensure that NGBD modal content is included in the entry components array. This is necessary for dynamic component loading. Finally, the user should check the modal.component.ts file to ensure that NGB modal is injected correctly into the NGBD modal component constructor. After making these adjustments, the user should restart the Angular application to see if the error is resolved. Fun fact, did you know that the first modal dialogues were created in the 1980s? They were simple alert boxes, but now we can create beautiful modals with just a few lines of code. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests that if you're using lazy loading, it's crucial to import NGB module into the imports array of your lazy loaded module. This ensures that NGB modal is properly provided. Here's the tip I promised. Always double check your module imports and declarations when you encounter similar errors. This habit can save you a lot of time and frustration. And there you have it. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the no provider for NGB modal error and get your modal component up and running. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on Angular development.